South Africa's president is among nearly 50 leaders from Africa invited by the White House to attend the first ever U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit. One of the topics on the agenda is security, important because al-Qaeda affiliates are blamed for recruiting and terrorizing the continent. CCTV's White House correspondent Jessica Stone joins us now with more on the conversation. And Jessica, I understand you talked with a Moroccan foreign ministry delegate this afternoon about this. I did, Mike, and it's very much on the minds of a lot of these countries, especially in northern Africa, that are facing groups like Boko Haram, uh, Al Sharia, um, Al Qaeda, and the Islamic Maghreb. And I spoke to Mbarka Boweda. She is the deputy foreign minister equivalent, or the delegate to the foreign ministry uh, affair of affairs at, in Morocco. Uh, she talked about the growing concern in Libya and how Morocco has been part of the. Uh, solution essentially meeting with its other partners in northern Africa to address their concerns in Libya and even offering some technical uh, assistance uh, in that regard. And, and as recently as today, we heard uh, the concern about Libya voiced by an Egyptian former foreign minister saying that he thinks Egypt may need to send troops to Libya. So obviously, a big concern in northern Africa. I asked uh, Minister Boweda how she sees it in Morocco. We've been very, and we're still very active in uh, trying to assist Libyan population and Libyan institutions, if there is any, unfortunately, to find solutions for their internal problems. We believe that the threat is here. The threat can be uh, spread to other countries. We think that Morocco is quite safe because of our, uh, because of our institutions and because of the strengthness of our Moroccan regime and Moroccan system. We believe that we can help because we have a very successful model and we can share Moroccan model with other countries. Now, Mike, when she talks about that Moroccan model, this was the methodology that Morocco uh, essentially used to escape what we know as the Arab Spring. Uh, it did not have its government toppled largely because it had political inclusion. It already had Islamic parties as part of the recognized political process. It also worked very hard on economic devel development in its country and trying to get more and more youth uh, off the unemployment lines. You know, the minister says that Morocco now plans to try to spread that model uh, to a security training center that could be used for countries like Libya. Jessica Stone, live for us just outside the White House today. Thank you.